Did you know for a limited time there are five unique festive duties in Disney Dreamlight Valley? And each one comes with a must-have reward. Let's make sure you get each and every one in time for the holidays. Oh, and by the way, if you're not sure where to find these duties, check out the Village tab in the same place you usually look for Dreamlight earning duties. So first up is Ho Ho Ho. To complete this duty, you need to craft 10 festive themed presents. All of the presents have something in common and that thing is that they require a new item, wrapping paper. You'll need 10 of these and to find them, you'll have to look around the ground in front of Scrooge's store and they'll just kind of be there sometimes. If you remember the Halloween event a while back, you'll remember that there was Halloween buckets just kind of randomly placed on the ground. This wrapping paper is a lot like that, but wherever your store is, that's where they'll be. In any case, you're gonna need to round up about 10 of these, and that took me the better part of one day, but maybe you'll be a little luckier. So there's the naughty gift, the shiny gift, the delicious gift, and the handcrafted gift. The naughty gift is probably the easiest recipe, so I recommend making the most of those if you're in a hurry. In any case, once you've made all 10, all you have to do is give them out around your village, and I recommend giving the coal to the villains because wrapping up coal and giving it to a villain's kind of funny, right? But you can give any gift to anyone you want, it doesn't really matter. Then all that's left to do is collect on your duty and you'll be rewarded with this pile of gifts. The next festive duty you can take on is do you want to build a snowman? For this one, you'll be crafting and placing down a snowman anywhere in your valley. The snowman can be any of your choosing from the four available, but if you're economical, I recommend the snow kid since he requires fewer snowballs than the rest of the snowmen. In any case, after you place down your snowman, you'll be rewarded with festive candy ears with bow. So cute. Another festive duty you'll want to make sure you complete is cookie taste test. This one just sounds like a good time, right? I personally love taste testing holiday cookies. So to complete this one, you'll need to cook and eat three different cookies. As far as I know, there are five cookie recipes in the game. So personally, I went with the three cookies that have the fewest ingredients. If you want to do that, those are biscuits, which need one wheat, one sugar cane, and one butter. Minnie's gingerbread cookies, which need just one wheat and one ginger. And finally, my hero cookies, which need one wheat, one vanilla, and one butter. Otherwise, you could make chocolate chip cookies or Wonderland cookies. Chocolate chip cookies are one wheat, one sugar cane, one butter, and one cocoa bean. And Wonderland cookies are one wheat, one vanilla, one sugar cane, and one butter. And sadly, no cheeses. Whichever three you choose to make, just don't forget to eat them once you're done. And after you do, you'll be rewarded with the festive candy ears. This next task is pretty unique. Even fish are festive. So for this one, you'll need to catch one of each of the new five festive fish around the valley. Luckily, they're pretty easy to spot due to their festive red and green bubbles. To catch all five, you'll need to fish in the Glade of Trust, the Peaceful Meadow, the Forgotten Lands, the Sunlit Plateau, and Dazzle Beach. One thing I did notice about fishing for the festive anglerfish in the Forgotten Lands is that it seems to only appear at night or the early morning. Personally, I finally had mine spawn shortly after 6 p.m., so maybe try around then if you're not having any luck. And of course for Dazzle Beach, if you want to catch the festive fugu, it will have to be raining. This time you don't have to eat them or anything, just catch them and you'll be rewarded with the Santa hat so you can be festive just like the fish. Last but not least, the final duty is a home for the holidays. This is a pretty simple and fun one. All you'll need to do is decorate the interior of your house with five festive themed furniture items. You can get these festive items either by crafting them or getting them as rewards for completing your festive star path duties. Items you buy from Scrooge, like the small fancy gift box, also count. Once you've placed all five, you'll be promptly rewarded with the winter carpet, which can help put the finishing touches on your wintry decor. But if you don't have five festive themed furniture items yet and want to know how to earn them fast, check out the video on screen now.